Okay, folks. Um, so let's just go over um, the trade live trading room on the 20th of November. So what we were saying is the day before on the 19th of November, we'd seen a very big uh, failure at 7400. So what that had done is it gone out taken some stops out above to the upside above the previous weekly uh, high in the market and then it had reversed sharply when you get that sort of action it's very negative so because of that we had a target we, we had the, the, the FTSE moving down to 7200 um, as a result of that so we really yesterday we're saying that only look at reasons to sell the market um, because we're looking for this move down there so uh, ideally we wanted to sell a bit of a retrace so sell 73.40 to 50 stop above that key level at 74.06 and target 7200 um, also we were saying if we break below 7300 we could look at selling 7323 uh, neutral neutral below 7320 uh, we're still positive long term five minute bars I was going to confirm in the room spikes I didn't have a trade and closing gap the closing gap was regarded as not high probability as filling yesterday so let's um, let's have a look at the price action all right the closing gap uh, yesterday was 70 73 23 and just as well we filtered that out because um, it um, it didn't it, it just basically dropped at the open so that that negative reversal signal we were talking about at 7400 targeting 7200 um, basically the market opened and it just dropped um, straight away at the open um, so there was I didn't actually have a spike um, planned but um, as the market moved down rapidly, uh, I had a key level at 72.70. So what we said in the live room is, well, look, we hadn't planned for this, but if we get down to 72.70, we can buy it um, in the first five minutes, which, which of course it did. It got down to 72.70, had the reaction. We bought it in the live room at 72.23. So you remember the instruction, I said buy at 72.23. We had a 15 point stop on that trade and um, what we said is to take half profits when it got up to 7280 um, now the reason I said to take a uh, half profits at 7280 is because there had already been a 15% like ATR yesterday was 10 points so there there had actually been a 10 point reaction from 7270 to 7280 so at that point because we got it at 7273 um, I wanted to make the trade risk free. Now you're probably asking why didn't you buy 7270 and not and why did you get it at 7273? Uh, the reason for that is you never you, you know markets are not exact it's not an exact science and it could well have front run 7270. Um, front run means coming out just before um, the level that you're wanting to buy or sell or even a stop um, so that's why we got in there. So we took half profits at 7270, uh, sorry, 72.80 after buying 72.73. Um, that basically locked us in with seven points. So um, so then we're, we're free basically then to put our stop um, seven points below our entry. So we're in at 73 and we paid for seven points. So we have our stop at 72.66. Um, so that means we can't we can't lose on the trade because we've made it risk free. So I'll stop at seventy two sixty six, and um, we're using half the profit that we made from taking half profits at seventy two eighty to pay for that stop. And again, um, the reason I wanted to make the trade risk free pretty quickly is because obviously we're we're negative on the market. We're expecting this move down to um, seventy two uh, seventy two hundred. So I really didn't want to be, um, I wanted very low risk trades. Um, well, after we took our profits, um, I wanted to uh, potentially take the rest of the profit at 70, 72.95 because that would have given us um, equal risk. So if we were risking 0.5% or 1% on the trade, 
and it hit 72.95, we would have made a full um, 1% or 0.5% uh, if you're risking that amount. So the market basically consolidates and then eventually hits 72.68. So 72.66. So basically, we came out for um, no loss, no gain yesterday, just break even. Uh, but 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 good example and good training on on risk management there um, for the day, and then of course um, it, it just moved lower during the day down towards our seventy two hundred um, target. So I think the overnight lows have been um, seventy two uh, seventy two eleven. I just actually I can show you on the five minute chart. Yeah, it's got down to seventy two oh eight at the moment. So, so we'll see. We'll see how this um, see how this develops. But um, today we'll most likely be looking to sell rallies um, in the market um, and expecting further downside. 